is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together, take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together, take me back where I belong I want it all It's all gone. Well, hi, and welcome to Old Caledown Farm near Bredlow in Buckinghamshire, uh, nestled in the centre of the Chilterns area of outstanding natural beauty. And we're here today to, to get very exciting progress on, on some, some scrub clearance and some, some habitat management work we've been doing with the, the landowner here through the Chalk Chairs and Chairs Landscape Partnership Scheme, um, funded by the National Lottery and also through um, the government DEFRA funded Countryside Stewardship Scheme. So Lodge Hill, we're standing here today, um, fantastic area of, of really important short grassland, um, really important habitat for the, for the Chilterns and home to some really rare butterflies and a fantastic assemblage of, of chalk grassland species. So a really important site, but a site that as you may be able to see as you work through has had a lot of work done on it um, in terms of trying to improve the habitat for the species here. So we've been working with the landowner of the last um, couple of years now really to, to put together a funding package to, to do a number of things across the farm. Um, focusing on hedgerow planting, we've seen lots of wild flower mixes and pollen nectar mixes across the farm, but most importantly, a massive piece of scrub clearance and habitat restoration on, on Lodge Hill itself, which is a site of special scientific interest. So we've been working with, with Maidencroft, and essentially, the first phase of the work is to, to manage a massive piece of scrub clearance, kind of 10, 15 year old scrub work that really was shading out and, and crowding out the chalk grassland species, which meant we were losing a number of our butterflies and a number of our, our specialist grassland species here. So, so why do we do the scrub clearance work? And as you can see around to the right, the work here that Maincroft have, have done so far, essentially is to open up the grassland to create more light and to open up the seed banks so the chalk grassland species have a chance to grow, have a chance to thrive and, and spread more across the, the, the site and a number of the, the chalk grassland species that butterflies are so dependent on. So, so really exciting to be able to show with you today the kind of extent of the work that's been done. Um, the work is still in progress today. Um, great to go and see some more work in action as we, as we were exploring the site. Uh, my name's Dave. I'm a team leader up on the uh, Lodge Hill where we've been for oh, nearly six weeks now. And uh, there's four of us in the team today. Majority of the time it's three, but there's four of us today. And uh, two of the guys are hand cutting. I'm in the uh, Kubota with the grapple, which is a, um, a five ton Kubota, which is a low ground pressure machine with rubber tracks. So as not to do too much in the way of damage on the uh, precious soil. And we've got uh, uh, Tony in the uh, forestry Valtra with the uh, timber crane, um, loading the scrub, taking it off the triple SI down to the fire site, down the hill. And yeah, the job's going well so far. Well, we're working to a, uh, to a obviously a map and we've got a GPS positioning uh, set up on my phone, which can position us exactly where we need to be. And each area, was an area that used to be grazed. We can tell now that it's not just a random kind of thing that he's drawn. It is an actual area that was grazed. And it's, it's getting easier to see. The more we do, it's easier to see. So we're getting areas which are 10%. This area that we're on now is a 5%. So we're gonna have 5% left of uh, scrub cover. And we've got 50% uh, just up above us. Over there, we've got another five. We've got a few points of interest, two or three junipers. This end, we've got a juniper the other end. 
So, so what next really after the scrub clearance? So once the, the scrub clearance work, that essentially is phase one of the work. Massive piece of work over the last six or seven weeks to clear the site and to say, to get the seed bank energized. Um, but that's only half the story. So once the scrub clearance is finished, um, we're then working with the landowner to put in um, a lot more stock fencing around the site so we're able to graze the site. So making sure the site is, is proof and the fencing is in good condition for the stock to, to be able to graze the site. We're also working to put in reinstall water. So when the cattle are here grazing, the cattle have got water they can obviously drink and it's a key part of the, of the stock management for the site itself. And we're also installing um, down at the bottom of the hill, which you won't be able to see from, from here, um, a stock pen. So the grazier is able to manage the stock already essentially for, for hopefully in the new year for cattle to arrive on site and to then begin to graze. And that's the really important part of the management of the site. The continual grazing of the site, keeping the scrub in check, disturbing the seed, disturbing the seed bank and disturbing the moss. So the flowers and the plants really have chance to grow and to recreate that really important short grassland um, habitat that we've, we've, we've been working so hard to achieve. And of course, none of this exciting work would be possible without the fantastic support that the National Lottery Heritage Fund have, have provided for the Chalk Chairs and Chairs Landscape Partnership Scheme, and likewise the support of, of DEFRA and um, of government agents through the Countryside Stewardship Agreement that we've been able to fund this work. So a massive thank you to the supporters and looking forward to, to come the spring when we might see some more butterflies and see the, the grassland coming into its own.